What's up everyone, my name is Noah and welcome to my channel. Today we're in the car and it's a very important day for me. I am getting my second shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. I've been pretty vocal on my Instagram and Twitter about how important I think vaccination is and that everyone should get vaccinated whenever they have the opportunity to so that we can all reach herd immunity and get back to normal as soon as possible. Three weeks ago, I got my first shot of the Pfizer vaccine and today is my second appointment. So I thought I would take you guys along for the journey journey. I heard that the symptoms were a little worse for the second shot. I didn't get any for the first one. So let's just see how the next couple of days goes. Maybe I can answer some of your questions and we can just go along this journey together because I don't want to be alone. But first boba. All right, so I'm on my way to the vaccination center, which is 20 minutes away. So I should get there right on time. From what my friends who've gotten the second shot have told me, it's usually pretty quick. You're like in and out. I'm not too worried because for the first shot, I didn't have any side effects or symptoms really. All that was was just my arm being sore. So I'm kind of hopeful, even though the people who I know have taken the second dose had a little bit of a rough time. So I just made it to the vaccination center. I decided to do walk up instead of drive in just because it's usually faster. I'm not gonna take you guys into the vaccination center because there's a bunch of people and I don't think that's allowed, but we'll check in when I'm out. I'm very excited, not too nervous. done. I have my little card. It's very anticlimactic. So it was pretty easy. I just went in, waited in line, showed my first card to show that it had the first shot, waited in line for them to write the second thing on it, and went in line, and then got the shot. And once that was done, you have to wait 15 minutes so that they can see whether you have like an allergic reaction or symptoms that are bad and that are not normal, and then you can leave, and that's now. But yeah, let me just put my mask on and social distance a little more. <laughs> All right, we are back home. I stopped by the store to buy some pre-workout because gyms are back open indoors and I'm trying to get back into it and hopefully that will help. I have a couple of hours before my next appointment, so I'm just gonna do some work at home, but first I am hungry, so we're gonna make some food. I recently subscribed to a meal prep plan. It just comes in the mail and you literally just have to pop it in the microwave and heat it up. I did that because Sal's not here to cook and I'm not the best cook. So I needed something to feed myself. Now the problem is that throughout the week I just have cravings and my friends want to go out and eat so I get takeout and go to the restaurants. And now it's Thursday and I still have five meals. So I have to eat them. Okay, so the options are savory sweet chicken teriyaki bowl, protein packed, don't look into my fridge, it's, no ma'am. We're not there yet. Protein packed chicken parm, homestyle chicken, chicken tikka masala, or citrus kissed orange chicken. What are we gonna eat today? <laughs> I think I'm feeling the chicken bowl. Teriyaki chicken bowl. That looks good. Okay, so instructions. Remove the sleeve and peel corner of film to vent. Microwave for three minutes, let stand for two minutes. I can do that. Okay, so my meal is cooked. I'm just gonna take it out of the box. I usually just put it into a plate or a bowl just because it makes me feel better than eating out of like a plastic container. That looks good though. Yummy. Pop that right into a bowl. And now I can post it on my Instagram story and pretend I just cooked. I have a couple ingredients in my fridge that I need to use. So I'm just gonna cut up my avocado that's just a leftover from yesterday. Add it to my bowl because why not? I don't want it to go bad. Mainly the reason I don't cook is that every time I try to cook or buy ingredients to cook, they end up going bad because I either don't eat enough or I just don't eat enough. I skip a lot of meals, which is bad. Don't do that, but I just forget. And the juice of the lemon. I hope I didn't ruin it. But yeah, that is the finished product. We have our chicken teriyaki bowl with vegetables, some basmati rice, some avocado, and that looks yummy. 
Maybe I am a chef. The avocado just takes it to another level. I'm sorry. Without the avocado, it probably wouldn't be as good. <laughs> Okay, but I'm back at my desk. I'm gonna do some work for the next probably hour. I thought I had more time. My next appointment is a doctor appointment, just a regular check-in. I'm just gonna get some blood work done and tested for everything and make sure that I'm okay. So I have to head out in like an hour. Let me just let me just get this done. <laughs> Okay, so I'm driving to my appointment right now and I just had a realization and I don't know if it's genius of me for thinking about it or if I'm just being completely idiotic, but can you get your blood drawn after getting a vaccine? Or is that gonna take the vaccine out of your system? Anyway, we're about to find out because I'm pulling up to the doctors. Okay, so there was no issue between the vaccine and the blood test. I got all my tests done and now I'm on my way to FedEx to see if I can get my vaccination card laminated because if I'm gonna have to travel with it and go around, I'm just scared that I'm gonna get it torn and just lose it. So let's just protect the little. Okay, it's 5.15 and I just got home. I was driving and on the way, I just got really sleepy. And I was gonna go to the gym, but now I'm like, mm, probably not. I don't know if it's the vaccine plus getting blood drawn that got me tired or if it's just my bad sleep schedule, but I'm tired. Okay, let me just try and do a few push-ups because when I don't go to the gym, I try to do 100 push-ups for the day, you know? <laughs> It hurts. Okay, I have a bit of a headache. I don't know how many of you can relate, but I just feel like I took too much poppers. <laughs> okay, push up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. So I did my push ups, I took a shower, and then I've been doing some computer work, and I'm just in bed enjoying the sunset just a very blissful quiet evening and i'm glad i didn't make any dinner plans because i'm feeling a little tired i'm just gonna stay in tonight probably eat another one of my meal preps because they're gonna expire and i need to finish them and watch tv it's cooking time it's 8 p.m and i'm already ready to knock out but i'm hungry so i'm gonna make this it's like a fried chicken with mac and cheese let me tell you, since I placed that order, I've been wanting to eat that one. I feel high. I'm not high, I promise. What am I reading the instructions? It's the same exact thing that we did earlier. Peel off the corner. I'm gonna do both corners because I'm feeling a little chefy today. And we pop that into the microwave. For three minutes, and then we wait. How are you guys doing? I really wanna take that off. Oh, whoa, why did I do that? So a little update on symptoms. My arm is like really sore. Ugh, it hurts to lift it. And I'm feeling sleepy, but I've been sleeping all week at this time. So I don't know if that's a reflection of the vaccine or not. But other than that, we're good. It's been a few hours and we're just hungry. And that's it. <laughs> Okay, it is cooked. We know the drill. We're just gonna replate it because I'm extra. This looks like not a lot of mac and cheese. Ma'am, I'm hungry. The green beans really could have been another serving of mac and cheese. Good try though. Well, the green beans actually smell really good. The chicken. Yeah, that's not enough mac and cheese. If it can fit in one scoop, ma'am. <laughs> wow. That looks yummy, doesn't it? Why do I keep asking you questions like you're gonna answer? It's not fucking Dora, Noah. Perks of living by yourself. You don't have a boyfriend or fiance to tell you that you can't eat dinner in bed because your sheets are white and you're clumsy as fuck. So let me get in bed, turn Netflix on, and have a fancy little dinner. This, my friends, is self-care. And I'm here with my new favorite show. It's called Jenny and Georgia. My friend just showed me the first episode yesterday. I'm on episode two, and it's really funny and really good, and we're just gonna have dinner and probably go to sleep, so I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hopefully I don't feel like shit, huh? Good night. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7.15 in the morning and I'm feeling really good. I actually fell asleep at like 10.15 last night and yeah, I didn't wake up until 6.45 so I had a good night's sleep. Didn't really feel like shit at any point during the night. The only moments where I would wake up are when I try to sleep on this arm because it's really sore. Like right now when I touch it, it's like someone punched me. But besides that, I'm feeling good. No fever, no chills, no pain, no whatever. So we're good. Just working in bed. I'll 
probably get up, shower, and start working from my desk in a little bit, and then we'll check back in and see if I start feeling like shit. Because if not, I'm good with that. <laughs> It's 4 p.m. on a Friday, which means I'm done with work and it's the weekend. So I'm gonna take a shot. I'm just kidding. Just got a shot yesterday. Can't do that. Okay, but I thought it was a good time for me to give it a little update. Still no symptoms. My arm just hurts like fucking crazy. And I was gonna go to the gym, but I don't think I can do arms or chest. So if I go, I might do legs. But I hate doing leg days, so I don't know if I'm gonna go. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me any question that you had about the COVID-19 vaccine because I was getting a lot of DMs yesterday when I posted about it. So now is the time to answer them. I got a bunch of them, but a lot of them were very similar. So I'm just gonna answer the most asked ones and the ones that I haven't already answered in this video. Okay, first question, which vaccine did you get? I got the Pfizer vaccine, which is in two doses at 21 day interval. I didn't really have a choice as to what vaccine I was gonna get and I was probably gonna accept anything that I was given between Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. But yeah, I'm happy that I got Pfizer. Were you scared or nervous to get it? I weirdly was not scared at all or nervous. I was just super excited, grateful that I was able to get it. I read a bunch of information about symptoms, about side effects about the testing and the population and the rollout plan and I believe in my honest opinion that it's safe and that it's worth it and that we should all get it which is probably why I'm making this video so yeah no not nervous at all just really happy did you have any symptoms after the first shot I did not have any symptoms after the first shot just the sore arm how do you check whether you're eligible I think that's different for every state at least I'm talking for the United States I know that my parents have have still not been able to get it. Countries around Europe are having like a slow rollout, which kind of sucks. So I'm talking just for the US. I think each state has different guidelines and rollout plans for eligibility, but your state's health website should be able to tell you whether you're eligible or when your phase is gonna come up. Usually eligibility is by profession. So what kind of job you have or medical condition. So if you're more at risk, um, you're able to get it or you can also try and get access extra vaccines because the doses go to waste if someone misses their appointment for a specific day then the dose has to be thrown out which is dumb let's not waste doses we're all trying to get vaccinated so i know that a few clinics and vaccination centers i've heard about cvs doing that where you can literally ask or be put on a list to be notified whenever they have extra doses and then you just go in and get your vaccine and that's it what happens after you're vaccinated now we wait. <laughs> That's why yesterday I was saying it's super anticlimactic. It's not like I'm gonna go out and go to the club without a mask close to everyone and like touch everyone's body. Like you still don't do any of that and you still can't travel much. So really nothing happens for now. We're still just trying to get to herd immunity and I just feel a lot safer, honestly, knowing that I can't develop really strong symptoms or it just makes me feel better about being out. I don't wanna be nervous when I'm outside. Okay, I think these are all the questions that I can answer for now, but right now, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm gonna do leg day. I'm gonna do leg day. I hate leg day. Okay, so I'm gonna make my new stupid little pre-workout. I'm sorry, but pre-workout packaging is scary. I feel like I'm gonna take that and I'm about to die. Six ounces? We're gonna do 12. Pre-workout usually makes me feel tingly and strange. I just need to be careful. I also haven't taken pre-workout in a good, probably more than six months. Mmm, chemicals. So that little tiny scoop is gonna kill me? They said one scoop, one serving. Some individuals may experience a harmless tingling sensation. Oh my god! My 
my face is so hot and I'm tingly everywhere. My back is so tingly. I hate pre-workout, why did I do that? On the other hand, I feel really energetic. I could conquer the world. And I've just been screaming and dancing and singing in my car and I'm about to kill this workout. And my legs are about to be sore. But the tingle! Good morning everyone, today is Saturday, so it's day two post-vaccine and I just wanted to check in, give one last little update and maybe close out the vlog. I have not felt any symptoms beside my arm being sore for one day, it's back to normal. I can move and like, I'm probably gonna go work out and I'll be fine and I have a busy day ahead of me. I'm going to a march for Asian Lives right now and then I'm shooting with my best friend Jesse to get some content and test his new equipment out but just all of that to say that I did not feel tired after my second shot I did not have fever or chills or any symptoms so pretty safe in my opinion once again I want to repeat that I am not an expert when it comes to vaccine or COVID or any medical issues don't listen to me too much but I wanted to share my experience I believe that the vaccine is safe and worth it and I think that we should all consider getting it if we're able to that was my experience with the Pfizer vaccine which is two doses at 21 day interval and yeah in a couple weeks I should have immunity is what they call it and then I can go crazy I'm just <laughs> but yeah that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and that you liked this little vlog if you want me to vlog more let me know and i can do that because i actually enjoy talking to my camera and my car like a crazy person when people walk past don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on all my social media all my links will be in the description box down below and i will see you very soon for a new video bye